Hi there everyone, this is your friend Jake and then in this tutorial video guys, we will learn how to create a Java program to ask the user to give a number and then the program will allow the, the given number to convert into new numerical equivalent. Before we continue, thank you so much to all my subscribers in my channel. And then if you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please click the like button click the notification bell so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video i try to upload actually <laughs> every day you know, um, new content or almost seven days a week if i'm not busy so please support my channel by subscribing leave a comment suggestions and don't forget to share uh, my channel to your friends and in social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So let's continue. So we have here the machine problem. Write a program to ask the user to give a number, and then the program will convert the given number into Roman numeral equivalent. Okay, so my website, the email. I'm using Eclipse as my IDE in writing this Java program so we have here import java util in line number 15 so this uh, line number 15 is a library file that we use for input output especially the use of a scanner library file as we can see here and then we have here a public class decimal underscore roman and a roman underscore numeral so do you observe the, the name of the class and then the file name is the same because in Java it will create an error if your class name and then the file name of your file that you save is different it will not run it should be uniform between the two the file name and then the class name next we have here a method called convert underscore to underscore roman underscore numeral and then we have here a parameter num so we have here a series of code no? so for 1000 m 900 cm d for 500 c for 100 x c to no 90 50 l uh, 10 for x 9 uh, i x 5 and then we have here one and then we have your string variable string and then we have your for loop statement that will count the length of the roman numeral values here and then we have divide if number in place equals zero we con continue statement here so we have your alternary operator okay of the subdivision substitution of the integer to its roman numeric equivalent and then we have here the replace uh, function in java and then we re, uh, return don't worry guys because i will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete program listing so we have here the static void main uh, method or, or it is a starting and ending point of the termination of our program in java so we have here scanner sc so we instantiate an object name sc any name will do so we have here one variable int num so we have the title of our program decimal to roman numeral in java so in this portion we are asking the user to give a number whatever the number it is as long as it is integer it will be stored in our variable num and then we have here display the value the decimal value and then we have here the numerical value and then we call the method so what is the method convert underscore to underscore uh, roman underscore numeral display and then end and the sc clo close so let us uh, run the program so that we can see the result Okay, so let's say the given number is 2000. So the decimal value is 2000, the numerical value is mm. Let us run again. 
2021, the current year. So, we have year 2021, MMXX1I. So, for the last value, we have here 1998. Give a number. So, we have your MCMXCV3I. End of program. So, this is the end of our discussion and demonstration of our program decimal to Roman numeral in Java. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video tutorial, please click the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial. Share and don't forget to support my channel by subscribing. Uh, until to the next video tutorial guys, this is your friend Jake Singh. Bye bye for now.